Hi, I'm Ed. Welcome to my series of beginners harmonica lessons. Um, I'm going to be, oh, I'll be doing a series of beginner and intermediate lessons and some specialist ones. So if you find these too easy, feel free to move on, uh, vice versa. Um, so there's heaps of videos out there on beginners harmonica. But what I'm going to try and do is to teach you the whole way along the, you know, what's what's going on in the music that you're playing. So there'll be some basic music theory, I'll try not to make it too boring and um, just so in, so you're not just learning blues harmonica. So when you go around your friends you can play like a different, you can, you can jam different tunes, you know? Because not everyone wants to play blues all the time. I mean, I know we do, but apparently other people want to play other stuff as well. You know, we want to play jazz, folk, stuff like that. So hopefully, at the end of my lessons, you'll be able to do that. People will be able to say, like, oh, I've got one, two, seven, four, five, one, or something like that, and you'll be like, okay, cool, I can play, I can play over those changes because I know the progression, I know the keys, you know, and I can play all these keys on my one harmonica. So, yeah, so I suppose we should start. This is going to be a short lesson about which harmonica you, you should play. And um, if you haven't already bought one, uh, which which ones to buy? Um, this is pretty personal taste, I suppose, but there are some simple rules to follow when you purchase a harmonica. First of all, you want to spend at least about twenty-five pounds. I think that works out probably about forty dollars or something like that. If you're spending less than that, you're going to have a harmonica which is uh, what we call leaky, which means that the air leaks. It leaks out of the sides um, rather than being directed straight through. Uh, or, um, I mean, it might be it might become unreliable. The reeds might be sticky, and uh, it's it's not going to help you progress. Um, for the, playing harmonica is such a cheap instrument, you may as well pay a little bit extra, you know, and get a decent one. Because at the end of the day, it's you know it's not a toy; it's it's an instrument. But there are a lot of toy harmonicas, but you're not going to be able to learn on one of those, I'm afraid. So, I'll do. I'll show you four harmonicas that I play, and they go up in price range. So, first of all, is the Blues Harp MS by Honor. Uh, this is probably about twenty pounds, I reckon, and this is a great harmonica to start off with. Um, I play. I still play these. Uh, I play the. I play the low the low harmonicas, so the uh, B flats and things like that because I like the fact they have a wooden comb. Some keywords here. This is the comb of a harmonica. It has a really nice warm sound to the low ones. So those are great. Next up on the list is the Lee Oscar harmonica. Um, I don't play these, but I mean I own a few because I tried them. Um, I mean that's just might be what you have to do is just try a few harps. I mean it's going to cost you maybe like 60 quid or something. Um, I know we're in a recession, but if you want a good harmonica that you like, unfortunately you're just going to have to collect a few. Um, the Oscars are okay, they have a plastic comb, um, I'm not going to talk too much about those because um, I don't like them. <laughs> Next up, uh, Golden Melody is my favourite harmonica. This is what I'll be playing in all my lessons. This is one in C. It has a plastic comb, which means it's very durable, it doesn't expand uh, like a wooden comb. That's the problem if you think if you put warm liquid on wood, it gets bigger, right? And then it gets smaller afterwards, and that's when we get leaks in harmonicas. Plastic, of course, does not do that, but you lose a certain amount of the warm tone of the wood. But it's still a great harmonica. These are brilliant for what we call out the box playing. When I talk about harmonica being out the box, it means I've just bought it from the shop. I take it home, it's come straight out the factory and it's had no work done on it, and I can bend uh, all, the, all the notes without having to do any work. And we'll talk about working on harmonicas maybe in a, a specialised video. You won't need to do any work on your harmonicas unless it's really banned out of the box. Um, the, what we're going to cover in these beginner lessons 
to be, I mean, you'll be, your harmonica will be more than capable of doing. Next up on the, oh sorry, these are about um, 30 pounds or 55 dollars, did I say 50 for last one? 60 dollars? I don't know, I'm not sure what the rate is. Uh, next up we have, this is a Honor Meisterclass. 580. It's a nice harmonica. This is like an aluminium comb. And uh, I don't know what the reeds are made of. I actually, I've done some work on this one and I've changed the reeds. That's why it doesn't even even for Ed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a big problem with these. They get cold. They're made of metal, right? Everything in it's metal. So you pull it out your pocket. You just walk to a gig. It's uh, I don't know. It's summer in England. <laughs> you pull it out your pocket. It's absolutely freezing. It doesn't play. It's rubbish. But I mean, it's not rubbish if it, if you spend the time to warm it up nicely and it works well, then it's decent to play. I find if you get a, get a nice mug and you can stick it in the bottom there of your brew, drink your tea. It's nice and warm when you're ready to play. There you go. These come in at about 60, 70 pounds, I think. So we're talking $130. This is an expensive harmonica. Um, I mean, you, I don't. I, I play this because it's responsive. It's quick. You know, you can play quick trills on it. But it's not really much quicker than one of these. I mean, if you've got heaps of money, then maybe buy one for fun to play with. But um, it's not necessary. Don't spend more than thirty pounds when you're starting out. It's not necessary. And even later on, it's not necessary. If you look at some of the best players at the moment, they are playing golden melodies. Um, right. Uh, this is a chromatic harmonica. I'm going to do a few lessons on chromatic because I like it for jazz. But I mean, it's not essential. Uh, don't buy one of these if you want to learn blues art. No. They come in about £100. £180, £200. I don't know. This is Larry Adler Professional. If you don't know who Larry Adler is, then um, you shouldn't be playing harmonica. Uh, and then we have different variations a tremolo harmonica, uh, an orchestra. Uh, there's heaps here. But what we want is a diatonic. So, choose one of these. <laughs> one of these, and you'll be good to go. Okay, I guess that's about it. So, uh, go get your harmonica, uh, have a go on it, see if you like it, and then uh, come back for my next lesson where we'll start playing. Bye.